Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. All right, today is Sunday. It's a brand new day, a brand new Torah portion. We are in the Torah portion called Bechukotai, which means regulations, and it's taken from Leviticus chapter 26, verse 3, all the way to chapter 27, verse 34. But today we're just going to be in verses 3 through 5 of chapter 26 of um, Leviticus. So I entitled this devotional, My Cup Overflows. So here we go. It says in verses 3 through 5, if, and that's a very important word there, if you walk in my statutes, keep my meets vote, which means keep my commandments, and carry them out, which means to do them, then, so you have if and then, verse 4, then I will give you rains in their seasons. The land will yield its crops, and the trees of the field will yield their fruit. Your threshing will last until grape gathering, and the grape gathering will last until the uh, till sowing time. You will eat your bread to the full and live securely in your land. Faithful obedience to God's commandments will result in agricultural blessing, which will result in blessing in business, which will re- result in security of living in safety in the land. So God is making a covenant here with the children of Israel because, and it's a conditional covenant because you have these these words, if and then. If you walk in my statutes, uh, and then these things will happen to you. If you keep my commandments, then these good things will happen. And this kind of reminds me of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses one through six. It says, now, if you listen obediently to the voice of Adonai your God and take care to do all his commandments that I'm commanding you today, Adonai will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. In other words, he'll bless you not only as an individual, whether you're a, whether you're a husbandman, whether you're a herdsman, whether you're a, a farmer, what have you, he will bless the entire nation. Then it says, then all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. In other words, if you keep my commandments, you can't help but be blessed. If you do to the very best of your ability to keep my commandments, these blessings will tackle you. They will chase after you and they will tackle you. It says in verse three, you will be blessed in the city, you know, which makes you think of business, right? You will be blessed in the field, which makes you think of agricultural things. Verse four, you will be, uh, you will be blessed of your womb, uh, the produce of your soil and the offspring of your livestock, the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. So anyway, anywhere from human birth to animal birth, you're going to be blessed. Verse 5, blessed will be your basket and your kneading bowl. In other words, your cup's going to overflow. You're not going to run out of things to eat. You're always going to be provided for. In verse 6, blessed will you be when you come in and blessed when you be when you go out. So whether you're coming or going, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed five ways from Sunday. You're going to be blessed inside and out, up and down, all around. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. Faithfulness in obeying God's laws implies that you trust God to take care of you. If you obey God to the very best of your ability, you should know that God's, that God promises to take care of you and provide for your needs. This is all what, what the whole Torah is about. It's a conditional covenant of if and when, or if and then, if you do this, then this will happen. If you do that, then that will happen. And equally, if you keep the commandments and and you'll be blessed, equally, if you break the commandments or disobey the commandments, you will be cursed. And that's the equation there. And that is the covenantal blessing that God promises to those who believe, love, trust him and are loyal to him and keep his commandments. And these rules are rules for our life to live the very best and most abundant life possible, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially. Uh, It's a win-win situation. And God is a good God. He said he wouldn't put any burdens on us that we couldn't bear. He's a holy, he's a just God, he's a compassionate God, a merciful God, a forgiving God, a gracious God. So we've got the best deal going. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.